Number 30. A generation is about one third of a lifetime. Approximately how many generations have passed since the, uh, since the year 0 AD? Okay, so first thing is we got to make a few assumptions. Well, one big assumption, right? We have to figure out uh, what the average lifetime is. And let's just assume that it's 70 years. Um, okay, so once we know the average lifetime, if the average lifetime is 70 years, then they're telling us a generation is about one third of that, right? So to find out uh, what a generation would be, we would take 70 years. Actually, let me write it down here in the work. So we take 70 years and divide it by three, right? And that should tell us how long a generation is. So plug that into the calculator, 70 divided by three, comes out to about 23.3, right? We'll round this though to 23. Since we have two sig figs, I'll put in the decimal there. And that's 23, <clears throat> that's 23 year, uh, excuse me, 23 years per one generation. Okay. Now what it says is it wants us to answer the question of approximately how many generations have passed since the year 0 AD. So as I currently uh, am recording this video, we are in the year 2020. So um, the year 2020, right? 2020 minus 0 AD is obviously 2020. So in other words, uh, 2020 years have elapsed. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, essentially connect these two uh, values. So every 23 years is equivalent to one generation. And, right, so I can write that over here, 23 years is equal to one, I'll just call it G for generation. And now if 2020 years have passed, we need to figure out how many generations that is. So let's um, reorganize this equivalency into a uh, ratio. I'm actually just going to flip it. Okay, so instead of writing 23 years per one generation, I'm going to say one generation is equivalent to 23 years. And now why I'm going to do that is for the following reason. Because now I can take this and multiply it by 2020 years. Years. And notice the years cancel. So what unit am I left with here? Well, I'm left with generation. So that's all I need to do now. All right, so 2020 divided by 23 and that works out to about 87.8, okay, 80, let me just change the color, 87.8 generations. Now again, since there's two significant figures, let's round that to about 88 generations. So that's about how many generations there would be um, from the year zero AD to today. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I will uh, catch up with you next time, and please subscribe. Thank you.